and suggested that Tom Brady was at least generally aware. We get late details from NBC's Peter Alexander. This video has been blowing up on the web over the last few days, causing NFL fans great anger after the Patriots upset the Jacksonville Jaguars to advance to the Super Bowl for the 10th time. If you look closely, this referee appears to be celebrating the touchdown with the Patriots when he should have been officiating the game. This video has fans crying foul and forced the league to finally acknowledge that the NFL games are sometimes fixed in order to drive revenue and ratings. Watch that again, the same referee congratulating Tom Brady after the upset. Not only did the video cause NFL fans to hemorrhage from their brains, it also caused uproar with the players. Denver Broncos star TJ Ward simply tweeted, rigged, shaking my head. The next morning, Jaguars cornerback Jalen Ramsey confirms everyone's suspicions when he admits, Coach told us in the middle of the fourth to give the game to New England. We didn't want to, but commissioner said it's best for the league. Ramsey quickly deleted the tweet, but it seems it was already too late. Reports out of New York indicate that Roger Goodell has permanently banned Ramsey from the league in response to his tweet. In an interview this morning, Colin Coward grilled Goodell over the ban and asked if he had maybe taken things too far. Is it realistic to say, listen, NFL, this is the one part of your content you're not going to be able to control. Lighten up on Twitter, NFL, and let the kids talk. Well, um, we do. uh, Obviously, we have a social media policy that is constantly changing. In fact, we made a lot of changes earlier this year. And yes, uh, what we have is a technology that allows our players to have direct access to our fans, and it creates a unique opportunity. However, we also have obligations to our partners and our advertisers. And anything a player does to hinder that process, it won't be tolerated. So we, unfortunately, we had to let Mr. Ramsey go because what he did was a, a clear violation of that policy. After his interview, Goodell held an emergency press conference acknowledging he made several mistakes and eventually admitted to having games rigged in order to create a super dynasty. Over the past several weeks, we have seen all too much of the NFL doing wrong. That starts with me. I got it wrong. I made a mistake, and I'm sorry for that. What fans don't realize is that this press release only came out after WFKE News obtained an unreleased interview between former NFL referee Richard Ndabu and Jim Rome, where Ndabu admits to rigging games in order to not only drive up ratings and revenue, but also help him and his colleagues win bets. You didn't just share information and help your buddies. You actually started to bet on the games. Correct. How did that happen? How come? Um, just sitting at lunch with other referees and, and getting information to where, uh, you know, we were going to stick it to somebody that night. Um. One specific team and Dabu stuck it to was last year against the Buffalo Bills when he confessed in front of 80,000 Patriots fans that he was going to create a completely fake penalty against the Bills in order to offset a blown call in which he robbed the Patriots of a touchdown. I totally blew that call. In fact, it wasn't even close. But don't worry. I'll penalize the other team for no good reason in the second half to even things up. Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Montana was asked if this cheating has been a long-time practice in the NFL, and he responded. Well, they always say if you ain't, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> So, and so they're trying hard. (laughs) Whether fans think this is funny or not, apparently this is the reality of pro football. When asked if he was going to have any discomfort in giving Tom Brady another Super Bowl trophy, Goodell likened the sport to professional wrestling. I got to ask you, you just got to be as honest as you can. If you handed the trophy to Brady, wouldn't there be a little discomfort maybe because of all the talk and the narrative and the media and people say... Would you be slightly uncomfortable for even a moment? Not, uh, not for a second. Uh, this is one of the great opportunities we have. The Patriots are an awesome team and have been gifted the opportunity to be there. They deserve it. So I'm definitely going to be thrilled. Uh, Tom Brady is one of the all-time greats. He has been for years. He's on the precipice of at least potentially winning his sixth Super Bowl ring. I mean, who am I kidding? Let's just be honest. They're going to win 37 to 32. 
He's definitely an extraordinary player, a great performer, and a surefire Hall of Famer. So it would be a great honor. And look, at the end of the day, we are here to provide entertainment to the fans. Nobody asked Vince McMahon if he felt uncomfortable for allowing The Undertaker to go on a 21 winning streak at WrestleMania because he knew he was creating an amazing legacy. So you don't see wrestlers going around calling the matches fake or rigged because at the end of the day, we're creating amazing stories that entertain people. And it should be no concern to anyone if we decide to allow Tom Brady to win the next 32 Super Bowls. We want him to walk away as a king period coming to you live from new york with this exclusive satire parody news story i'm i shan on you wfke news make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the bell in order to be notified when we release new stories unfortunately we aren't able to earn much from our posts right now if you enjoy our videos and would like to support us with just a dollar please find us on patreon.com slash satire daily